Hello and welcome to the Royal Road School of Carmelite Prayer. Today I would like us to take a closer look at part six, the school of suffering, the interior life, taken from an article entitled The Love for Love, The Life and Works of St. Teresa of Jesus, written by St. Teresa Benedicta of the Cross, also known as Edith Stein. St. Teresa of Benedicta of the Cross does a beautiful bi biography on St. Teresa where she demonstrates in part six the journey of the soul towards union with God through St. Teresa's life. Part six, the school of suffering, the interior life, introduction. Not long after her profession, November the 3rd, 1537, Teresa began to develop heart problems that sent her to the infirmary. She bore the pain, the forced idleness, the inability to participate in the religious practices with no less patience than that of the nun who had amazed her. So she won the love of all the other sisters, even those who had formally criticized and misinterpreted her actions. Her fond father wanted everything possible to be done for Teresa. And because the doctors could not help her, he decided to take his daughter to a healer who was famous for her cures. Since the Monastery of the Incarnation was not enclosed, there was no hesitation about allowing her family to take the young sister on this long trip. The trip took them first past Hortzagoza. Pedro Sanchez gave Teresa a book, The Third Spiritual Alphabet, by Father Francisco de Asuna, about the prayer of recollection, which was soon to become her guide. The travelers spent the winter at the farmhouse of Maria de Cepeda, Teresa's sister. Even though, as in earlier years, she was here surrounded by her loved ones and devoted herself wholeheartedly to them. She did, however, know how to arrange the day to give herself enough time for solitary prayer. And so she remained faithful to her religious vocation outside the monastery setting. However, her illness steadily increased so that it was a relief when the spring came, the time the healer of Besidus had designated for the cure. The long journey was a torment for St. Teresa, but the cure was even worse. Instead of healing her, it only increased her suffering. In spite of all of her agonizing pain, she steadfastly continued in contemplative prayer according to the directions in her spiritual guidebook. And God rewarded this courageous fidelity by even then raising her to a high level of the interior life. In her writings, this doctor of prayer later presented the mystical life of grace in all its stages with incomparable clarity. The neophyte who was beginning to practice prayer did not yet know what was happening in her soul. But in order to make her further development intelligible, it is now necessary to say a few words here about the interior life or the journey of the soul towards union with God. Amen. This is the end of part one to be continued.